I want to give you a personal invitation to join me tonight, Wednesday, June the 3rd, 2020, at 7 p.m. for a special live stream event. I'm going to be joining a panel of local pastors, African-American pastors, uh, myself and another uh, white pastor, as we gather to talk about how we as God's people can bring racial reconciliation and healing to our communities and our churches. Right now, this is such an essential conversation to have, not just talk, but to brainstorm in the presence of God, to come up with spirit-led ideas as to how we can affect change. So many people are hurting, rightfully so. So many people are outraged, rightly, rightfully so. Uh, whether we're talking about the murder in cold blood of Mr. George Floyd or the violent brutality and the murders of black police officers uh, through the riots of the last week, uh, whether you know this or not, six law enforcement officers here in the United States, several of which are black from the African-American community, have lost their lives uh, because violence has taken to our streets. There's a major difference between talk and action. I'm going to be joining tonight. I'm honored to be part of this panel with these distinguished pastors as we come up with real solutions to bring the power of the gospel and hope, not just talk, but hope about how we can build bridges, tear down barriers, and bring healing. Uh, before I go, I want to share a verse with you. Actually, two verses, Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 10. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says. He says, let your love be without hypocrisy. Detest evil. Cling to what is good. Love one another deeply as brothers and sisters and outdo one another in showing honor. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of of personal transformation. And when we get personally transformed, we can become culturally transformed. Where we are right now in our nation, we need to have this conversation. So I'll be joining together tonight with those pastors. I invite you to join me. The link is going to be posted in the description section right below this video, so you can click that at 7 p.m. and access the live stream. It's a free event. Please share it on your social media platforms. This is a conversation, black, white, Latino, Asian. We need to have, let the church be the church. We need to be the church. And in the words of Paul, we need to love one another as brothers and sisters, regardless of our differences. Diversity of ethnic background and community differences are a God idea. He created us. We are created in the image and likeness of God. And when we show love to one another's brothers and sisters, we're modeling the gospel. If we're going to see transformation that produces lasting change, and if those who are healing can find hope, and if we can build bridges that result in community and ethnic and cultural reconciliation. What a model to our culture. What a model to our country that the gospel works individually and societally. Jesus came not just to give us great life advice, but to transform our lives from the inside out. The reason we have a skin problem is because we really have a sin problem. The heart needs to be changed, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. So in the words of the Apostle Paul, and I want to drop this on you before I run and remind you again, this is our commandment. Let us love one another as brothers and sisters. Let us all cling to what's good and detest what's evil. Oppression, injustice, violence, anarchy, racism, hatred, animosity, brutality in all of its forms is evil, and we are to detest it. Furthermore, we are to love one another deeply and to outdo one another in preferring the other above ourselves. 
powerful and practical truth that will transform lives and can change our nation. I look forward to you joining us tonight at 7 p.m. That's going to be River of Life christiancenter.org. Again, the link's going to be posted right here below. Thanks for being part of a transformational conversation tonight.